Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back to Period 6 Designs. Today I'm gonna show you how I made a resin notebook. And so I was inspired to do this because I saw Nicole Merritt. She made a small little notebook and I thought it was super cute. So I decided to make my own. So you see I have a silicone mold which I picked up on Etsy. I'm just gonna be using some purple and orange alcohol inks. And if you see this thumbnail, you probably don't know where this is going. I didn't know where it was going either. And also picked up some bronze uh, pigment from Mr. Nola's Glitter, which I'm here in New Orleans, that's a local store for me, but they're very popular on Instagram. Um, and I have a couple of glitters from Nola Craft Culture, and that's from one of their um, Halloween collections that they recently came out with last month. So just a purple and an orange shade. And again, you're like, purple and orange, it looks very bronze in the thumbnail, where is this going? Um, so first, I'm gonna just make sure I clean my silicone mold with 91% isopropyl alcohol. You know, sometimes the room can be dusty or anything like that, so you wanna just make sure you get it nice and clean. But honestly, you guys, my original plan was to do purple and orange, like Halloween kind of themed. But when I started, and which you'll see when I started, I kind of seen how it was going bronze on me, and that's kind of where I ended up with. So I initially mixed up 30 mils of epoxy, so 15, a mil is a part A, 15 a part B to get 30 total. I definitely suggest mixing up um, anywhere between 50 to 60 mils total for each side of the cover um, because I used, I feel like on the, when the first time I did it, I used about 60 mils, the second time I used about 50 mils. Um, so you can't go wrong if you mix 60, if you have like anything extra you wanna make or you have anything you wanna pour into a mold, um, you can definitely do that too. And so what I'm doing, I just rationed off the epoxy um, and some, to some little smaller cups from the Dollar Tree and I'm just adding in the alcohol inks to them. And again, you guys, I was winging it. That's the, that's the thing I love about doing like epoxy art and glitter art. Like you can't really go wrong. It's, you're just winging it. And the thing is you can always mix it, add more, you know, put a little glitter on it, whatever you want to do. And you can come up with something totally different than what you thought you were going to do, but something that's still beautiful. And that's really what happened here for me because again, I went into a thing I'm gonna do like, oh, you know, orange, black, and purple. It's gonna be like Halloween themed. But I ended up with more of a fall theme, um, but I'm in love with the way it turned out. I think it's gorgeous. It's not in this, it's fall themed, but you can use it any time of the year, honestly. And so again, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just winging it. So I'm just pouring, um, the, the epoxy into the mold. And again, if you guys like wanna like make a plan on your intention of how you want to, you know, pour your cover, that's totally cool. But like a lot of things that I do, like I'll have like colors in mind or something like that. And then once I get the colors, I'm ready to go off and work and I'm just gonna wing it. And that's kind of what I did. And so I thought I did a really good job with getting the orange to the shade that I wanted, but that purple, you see it's very transparent and like blue looking. It definitely wasn't what I was going for. I wanted like a much richer purple, like you see the glitter. That was like, that's really the color purple that I wanted. Oh yeah, and I am using the Illumilite Amazing Clear Casting Resin, um, in case you guys are wondering. It has a working life of about 30 to 40 minutes once you start mixing the two parts. So this is a great resin to work with um, when you're doing something like this, because it definitely gives you enough time to, to really place the, the product where you want it. And kind of if, you're doing, if you are doing like a specific design that you're trying to achieve, it definitely gives you that work life that you need in order to achieve it. And so I'm trying to bring more of that darker purple up into that more transparent bluish purple because again, it wasn't really the shade that I wanted. And you can see right here, um, I want to go mix up some more epoxy. You can see right here that I'm adding in more alcohol inks because again, I wasn't really satisfied with the shade. It looks very blue um, and blue was not the shade that I was going for. So just trying to darken that up some. But again, with having that long pot life, you really can work with things and change things and add color and, you know, do swirls or designs or anything you, you think you might want to do. You definitely have that working lights, uh, working life with that, uh, um, that working life with the Lumen Lights Amazing Clear Cast.
All right, so I want to skip ahead, you guys. I didn't want to bore you, so I finished pouring everything in the mold. Um, I took that bronze and I kind of just swirled it on the top. Again, no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of doing my thing. Um, the next, I just took some of that orange shade, and I forget the name of the shade. I'll list it in the description box below if I remember to. Um, and I'm just sprinkling it uh, on top of the cover. And I'm going to do the same thing with the purple. So you guys, this is where it started getting interesting. So I used, I pulled out my heat gun in order to help you know, kind of create some swirls and everything like I would do in like normal epoxy. Um, and also to pop the bubbles, of course, to really bring um, any kind of air bubbles to the surface and pop those. And so once I kind of got done with the, just running it across the surface in order to pop the bubbles, I started um, really heating that. And please, please be careful when you're doing this and please make sure you're wearing safety equipment, you guys. When I work with epoxy now, I have started using um, a ventilated mask. Like you can pick them up at like Home Depot, it's like $8 for two. Um, especially when you're gonna be using the heat gun on them because it lets off a fume. Um, and just be careful when you're doing it in this silicone mold too. So just something to be aware of. You can get it really hot. Um, I don't know if you can melt it with a heat gun, but you never know, just please be careful. And so I started moving the epoxy around a lot, as you can see with my heat gun, just trying to, you know, create like a design, a swirl, something. Um, and then I'm like, wait, well this is, you know, huh, it's looking interesting. And so I'm like, okay, well, let me move the whole thing. And that's what you see me doing now. Like, okay, let's see where this goes. Again, y'all, I'm just experimenting. I definitely encourage you to experiment when you're doing this. And so I needed to get everything back in this place and even this out. So I started taking my spoon, as you see, and as I'm, you know, going across everything with the spoon, I see it turning bronze. And I'm like, hmm, I like where this is going. I'm like, bronze is definitely fallish it's a beautiful color um and i and i like i started to like how i looked and i'm like okay well let me keep going let me start and you see I'm, now i'm incorporating you know all the epoxy that's you know not incorporated in i'm starting to incorporate it and see you know is this all going to turn bronze and you know my curiosity started peaking and that's when i just started okay well i'm gonna just mix it all together and that's really what I did from this point. I'm just going around the whole mold, making sure I get in all the cracks and corners. And when you do this, make sure you get around really good um, around those little, the holes where the where the rings will go. Make sure you definitely get around there good. If you haven't, if you're doing something like I'm doing, like if you're mixing actually within the mold as opposed to mixing in your mixing cups, which again, lessons learned, I definitely suggest um, because this made it take really long. So you could definitely pre-mix if you know what you're doing. Um, definitely do that, but if you're winging it like me, just make sure you get all the cracks and corners. And remember, this is gonna be two-sided. So you're gonna have the side that's like shown on the outside and the side that's facing the inside. So you could very easily have two different designs on the same notebook, depending on how you do it. So yeah, work, work all the corners really good. Work the whole mold really good. Make sure you're getting all the way down to the other side again, because you you will technically have a design on the bottom and design on the top. So you want to make sure you incorporate everything down to the base of the mold, um, so you have some consistency between the two surfaces. And I'm just going back over with my spoon to make sure that I have filled in everything and everything is nice and populated. Create a little swirl design in it. And that was it, you guys. I let it sit. I, I let this sit for two days. Um, you see how easily, look how easy that feels back, you guys. Like, no resistance. I love working with silicone molds like this. No resistance whatsoever. It pulled off so clean. So, and that's what I got. And so, you guys, here's, I did it again. And so, this one's a little more orangey. Again, I wasn't using measurements. I kind of, I used the same material to make sure I got, like, the same kind of effect. But... 
One's a little more orange and one's a little more brown. I'm not mad at either, I love both. I think they both look good. And honestly, when you put them together, like as far as the notebook goes, unless you're looking really hard, you can't tell the difference. So in total, it took me about four days to make both because I let them sit out, both of them, for like two days. They were ready after the first day. It only took 24 hours, um, but I just went ahead and just kind of let it sit there. And you can see right here where I didn't mix it good, and you can kind of see where that blue, remember that blue that was kind of right there? You can see where that's still coming through at. All right, you guys, so I picked up this paper. This is side, this is an A7 silicone mode. I'm sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. Um, I picked up this double paper pack and like these little cute little pockets and these cute little markers um, off of Amazon. I think it was like $10 for the whole pack. And the little rings I picked up while I was over at Mr. Nola's Glitter getting the, the bronze pigment. And these are just binder clips. And so if you never use a binder clip, they just work. You kind of just, oh, it's really hard to describe, but it's, it's not a snap, but you kind of just slide them out. I'm gonna show you, show you twice. You just kind of pull it apart and then pull it apart, if that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense. It's really hard to get it on camera. And these ones are honestly, they were really tough. Like they sell some at Walmart that are really easy to use. They were one inch, the, the ones at Walmart, I know they have one inch ones. I think these are half inch ones. Um, I actually prefer a one inch and I probably will switch to a one inch so I can put more paper in the notebook. Um, but yeah, the, these little half inch ones were really hard to open and close. When you use a one inch, you have some more, you have a, a larger leverage point, so it's a lot easier to use. And so what I'm gonna do, I stacked the bottom cover in the paper, and I'm just gonna go down one by one. And you guys, again, this is really hard to get on camera um, because it's you have to keep it kind of close to you to make sure you line everything up right. And so, Essentially what I'm doing is I'm gonna put the, the cover on top and then just go one by one, stringing the rings through the holes going all the way down through the cover, through both covers actually. And so you really, you're not gonna really see me do this for the, um, for the Nobo because again, it's really hard. I had to hold it really close to me and so it was really hard to get it on camera. And like my hands kept being in the way. I couldn't find a good way to film it. So I'm just like, forget it. You guys are gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> All right, you guys, and that's how it looks. This is the uh, resin epoxy notebook, whatever you wanna call it. I love the way it turned out. I might stick a decal on it. I haven't yet. I've been using it for about a week. I haven't yet. Um, but you can, if you want to, just stick it straight on top, stick any kind of stickers or anything you want on it. But this thing was so, it's really, it's a really passive activity. It's very easy to make and I, it's very, it was very rewarding to me. I'm really proud to be walking around work with a notebook I made, so it was really cool. I mean, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching today, you guys. Um, please subscribe to the channel um, and I will see you guys in the next one.